This was the early 80s, and this was when I was in Nigeria. I was working with uh, Ilri, the same uh, organization, as, as organizing this workshop to this week. And uh, there was quite a bit of interest, actually, at that time uh, of gender issues. I can remember going to workshops uh, in Nigeria itself, organized by Ilri, uh, going to other workshops, giving presentations about the work that I was doing. And I was looking specifically at intra-household decision-making, decision-making within the households about milk production, processing, marketing, use of the income from milk and milk products, also from livestock sales. And it was a time when there was actually a lot of uh, gender guidelines being built up, uh, being developed and being distributed. And there was, there seemed to be a lot of interest in gender. And I can remember, you know, publishing a number of papers, also in more popular magazines like, you know, series from, uh, from FAO, uh, about the position of women uh, as related to men in dairy development and trying to get this message across. And... Um, I'm a bit surprised, I must say, to come to a workshop now in 2011 and to hear actually many of the same things being said that were said back in the early 1980s and, you know, people uh, posing questions or being surprised about certain things that they'd heard and I thought, well, my God, we, we discussed this. We not only discussed it, we published this 30 years ago. But publishing wasn't enough. We obviously didn't manage to get into the heads of people in uh, you know, policy-making organizations at the higher levels, uh, people in extension, in research, in the universities. And so we obviously didn't manage to get into people's heads, into their hearts, and into the materials which they are dealing with day to day, our messages about the important role of women in agricultural development. Recently, I was doing a, a study of pastoral women. It is striking uh, that the women I was visiting in southern Ethiopia and northern Kenya are living in a, a very traditional way still and are still struggling to be able to um, send their children to schools to get good health uh, care. Uh, the kind of things that seem to be for the women particularly important. They're also struggling very much still to have some form of, uh, of income that they have control over. And uh, it is in a way a bit disappointing that uh, there are so many women still today that are facing these very sort of basic uh, challenges 